All right, folks, welcome to the second day working with Mr. Flores in the art classroom. And we are working on our paper mache uh, uh, sculptures, our cone projects. And this is, uh, I showed you this before, this is a cone project that I made uh, making a pencil. And you are going to be using uh, a cylinder shaped object, like I said, or you can use a recycle um, Clorox wipe container, a jug, a milk jug, uh, even maybe a three liter uh, soda bottle. I even seen some kids use a Pringles can. All right. So just look in your kitchen. You can probably find a really cool cylinder shaped object. You can be plastic or paper. And then also for the top, I said you can use either a folder or a very thin cardboard such as a cereal box. All right. Supplies you'll need today is a plate or something to work on, uh, a, dra a rag or a napkin, a cup of water, some Elmer's glue or any kind of glue a bowl so we can do for mixing, and some newspaper. If you don't have newspaper, you can use regular notebook paper, and a pair of scissors. All right, again, guys, this is our second day. Make sure to look at the last video just in case you didn't see it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and, uh, with our paper mache, we're gonna use a very easy recipe. Go ahead and put it's uh, the water into the bowl. So you're gonna use half water, half glue, and we're going to just mix that in. Looks kind of funny, right? So again, it asks for half water, half glue. All right, folks, go ahead and mix that, the water and the glue. It's just supposed to look sort of milky. There, I think that's perfect. All right, so what you're going to do is get your newspaper, or like I said, if you don't have it, your notebook paper. You're going to make sort of a bigger square. You don't really need to make tiny ones because you're working on a bigger surface. So go ahead and dip your newspaper or your paper, like I said, completely emerge it or submerge it, submerge it, sorry, into here and make sure that it gets wet enough. You don't want any kind of dry areas in here. You're gonna get two fingers and take off the excess with two fingers. That's the water coming off because you don't want your project very soak, uh, soaking or very soggy, just the right amount of water. So again, make sure the newspaper is nice and soaked. Get two fingers and take off any excess water that's dripping. All right, you can go ahead and simply layer it. When you layer it, you smooth it out and you put layer by layer. When you do this, I would make sure that you go in one direction. So we're not going back, forth, back, forth. That way it has the same smoothness all the way around. All right, for the cone, so maybe for this shape, I'll go left and right. And for the cone, I'll go up and down. So again, go ahead and get your newspaper or your paper, like I said, your uh, notebook paper. Back and forth, make sure that it's nice and soaked. Get two fingers, take off the excess with two fingers. And I'm the, for this part, I'm going to go up and down. So remember, Make sure that it's wet enough. If it's not wet enough, it's not going to come come correctly. So you see how this part lifts up a little bit? That's okay. If it lifts up, all you're going to do is just simply fold it and let it be, all right? See, because what you're gonna do next is you're gonna put another piece of paper over it and it's gonna cover that little imperfection or fold. Don't worry about the tape sticking out or any other uh, marks like this because that's all gonna go away with the paper mache covering over it. All right, folks, let me tell you some don'ts what not to do to make sure that you don't run into any mistakes, okay? Do not put a whole bunch of layers of paper inside the bowl. What do you think will happen if I put all these papers in there at once? That's right, they'll just get all soggy and gross, so you don't want that to happen. So make sure we do one at a time, okay? Also, let me tell you a trick. So say um, I'm going to make, you can make a gnome, you can make a castle, and say I'm gonna make a gnome, like a person, okay? So I'm gonna get a piece of paper, a smaller one. I'm gonna dip it into my water, remember back and forth, and take off the excess with two fingers. Get it nice and soaking, because you don't want it just to be um, just a little bit uh, with water on it. You want it to be nice and soaking, but take off the excess with two fingers. I'm going to crumble my paper and I'm going to make a small little nose 
for my gnome, okay? And you can see there. Do you see how it sticks up a bit? So if you want that to go away, what you're gonna do is put another layer of paper over that so that way it can stay on there. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get some newspaper. I'm going to put it back and forth into the water. Make sure to take out the excess with two fingers. And we have our first layer to make, make sort of like a little nose for our gnome, okay? That's if you're making a gnome. So that's a little bump for a nose. Again, I'm gonna keep on putting layers of newspaper. If I wanted to get rid of that hole, I'm going to put a piece of newspaper going this way, all right? Or even maybe a bigger piece of newspaper. All right, folks, can't wait to see how they all come out. I do wanna see your pictures of how they look like. You're going to do at least two days of covering of this with paper mache, okay? If you don't like the way that's coming out, there is another way to do it by adding flour. You can look those up on YouTube, uh, flour, glue, and water. But I know some of you guys might not have flour at home. And flour, it kind of gets messy and stinky. And I think this is the easiest uh, way is just glue and water. All right, folks, can't wait to see all these come out. Don't forget to take your pictures and submit.